everyone, so it is Monday afternoon and I still haven't put a video up for probably two and a half weeks now. So I'm sorry about that. It's been, well, as I keep saying, it's just crazy busy and I know I keep repeating myself, but it's really hard for me to get my camera out and film and then it stop and start and I, I am really busy. It's getting close to Christmas. We've got more workshops, more classes. Um, which is fab and I'm loving it but then I have this like inner guilt of like I haven't released a video in ages so um, I just thought I'd film a little sort of another day in the workshop um, studio um, video but I might do it over a few days um, because the next couple of days I have got like little bits here and there where I can probably get my camera out and I think that's what I actually need to do instead of trying to like segment out this massive few hours that I need to sit down and film um, and funny enough I was going to book that in this afternoon but I think someone's coming in to have a lesson now um, or a sew session or I, c I don't really know what they are specifically wanting um, but they could be in soon so um, I mean it's going really well but um, I guess the downside with being busier is that I'm don't have the time to do other things but also I want to do some videos on some new products I've recently got um, and sort of do a review of them because some things I'm now getting sent from different brands are actually like really amazing new sort of sewing help products um, and the more I start testing them and using them the more I'm like actually this is really useful so um, I want to do that soon as well. So maybe I'll try and squeeze those things in this sort of like a week in the sewing studio video. Um, and maybe that's what I'll start doing from now on because it seems like the easiest way that I can film like little bits here and there. Um, but just to give you a little update of what happened this weekend, I had back-to-back -back workshops, which was really, really fun. I had a beginner's sewing machine skills in the morning. Um, so that was really lovely. Um, and we got our first guy. Woo! I really want to get more men into sewing. It drives me crazy that like a lot of them go like, oh no, you know, um, you know, I don't want to be the only guy. And I'm like, what? It doesn't matter. Like, come in and learn to sew, and then you'll see all the amazing things you can do. Um, and this guy who came on Saturday was one of them. And then he bought a machine because you know, when you're in the moment, and you're feeling creative. You might as well go for it. So um, he made me. He literally made my weekend. So that was nice. And then I had a really fun kids birthday party in the afternoon um so it was a very long day but it was really really fun um and we had 10 girls downstairs all making felt cushions um and they seemed to have a good time as well so i'm wearing lots of knitted items today not me made either my mum knitted me this jumper it's one of those color block ones that i kept asking her to make all those years ago and my nan made me this today we had a knit and natter this morning um, and I asked her for Christmas to make me a headband like this and I found this pattern and then she made this one as a tester and I was like, oh, can I wear it? And she was like, well, it's only a tester and I was like, yeah, I know, but I really like it. So I'm wearing that because it is freezing today and I'm not over exaggerating. It is so cold outside. It looks sunny, but you go outside and your eyes like freeze over. Okay, that's a slight exaggeration, but you know what I mean. Anyway, I need to get do some work because I'm really far behind on my commissions. So let's get cracking. Okay, so it's now like five to five. Um, so I'll be closing up soon, but I really wanna get, I've got this magazine commission to do and I really wanna get it done. So I'm just gonna crack on and see how much I can get done before, well, it's already dark, but you know what I mean. It's gonna be <laughs> a busy day tomorrow as well. We've got mom and baby in the morning, and normally I have Tuesday afternoon off, um, AKA I work from home, um, but it means that I'm not here like six days a week, sometimes seven. Um, but I think I might have to stay on tomorrow afternoon anyway because I've, I'm really behind on work now but it's okay we're gonna power on through hello 
everyone so it's Tuesday and it's still freezing cold hence the scarf um, I am wearing another mum made knitted jumper and this is a, a nan made knitted scarf so I'm still wearing handmade stuff um, I'm just still working on those commissions that I was doing yesterday um, I'm a bit late with them so I'm like I really need to get them done today um, so I'm gonna do a bit of that and then I need to write the instructions we had mum and baby club this morning which was really well I was gonna do a little bit of filming um, but I have to like ask permission for everyone and, and I could have just filmed the table but I left my camera upstairs and it, to be honest it's quite manic anyway so I wouldn't have really had time to wander around and chat to people because it's like passing babies around and I love it I absolutely love it but they were making um, bird like porcelain bird decorations today so um, they all looked very beautiful so if you follow me on Instagram I'm at so underscore underscore Jessalie um, you can see hopefully this week what they've made I was very impressed anyway um, but yeah so I'm just gonna crack on with this and then I've got some orders to do as well so I'm normally meant to be working a half day on a Tuesday um, so I can work from home but I'm just gonna so it is Wednesday now and I'm sorry if you can't hear me very well but it's chucking it down outside and not just rain it's like full-on hailstones um, so it's very noisy so I hope I'll only find out when I'm editing this if you can actually hear me um, but basically I had the morning off um, to just chill and get some work done because I work from home on my time off um, and I have been here for an hour or so. Um, I'm just going to finish um, a commission. I'm making a baby grow for someone, um, a personalised one, um, so I'm doing that. And then um, in sort of an hour's time I've got um, my after school Wednesday club coming. And then after that I have a sew session, so I've got some people coming in here till 8.30 tonight just using me as a guidance um, for their sewing projects. Um, so I sort of like wander around the room and help them do different things um, which is quite nice so a late one tonight but I can't complain because I've been chilling at home all morning um, but yes so I'm just going to get on with this baby grow before my little students arrive so it is now what time is it nine o'clock and um i'm very tired i've just finished my sew session i'm so tired can't speak i just finished my sew session and now i'm gonna run home and have some dinner because i'm really hungry now um but i had a good day I had a really good after school club you probably would have seen a little few clips um and then had a really good sew session but i didn't really film any of that but um one of my students, Lottie, has just finished um, her Christmas sort of prom dress, um, which is beautiful. Um, and if you follow me on Instagram, you might see a little thing on Instagram there. Um, but yeah, great day. It's nine, I'm tired. I really wanna go home. So I will see you tomorrow. Hello everybody and happy Thursday. So yesterday I still didn't finish this baby grow. So I'm gonna finish that today before I have private lessons and teens club tonight um, and I've just got a new teenager starting today so I'm very excited about that also if you want to make um, this little footy baby grow I have this is a brindle and twig pattern um, they're PDF patterns that you can order online and they just send the download instantly um, and I did a sew along 
which you'll find on the channel somewhere in one of my playlists um, of how to do it. So if you want to do it, we can sort of, you can use my video to sew along with it and pause it and start it whenever you want. So I'm gonna do this quickly before my lunch. I just thought I'd jump on here because in some of the scenes with me and with my little students, you might have seen them using this. Um, and I just wanted to explain what it was because do you know what? I am finding it really, really useful. Um, Gutterman sent me a lovely thread pack um, just to try out and use. And in these little gift packs um, with all these colors, um, this one in particular comes with this edge shaper. Now, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, that would be quite useful. But it was way more useful than I thought it was gonna be. So this pointy bit I used to push the corners like out. You know when you've done like a really thick seam, especially when you use overlockers, it's really hard to get the corners out. Now this is sharp enough that you get them really pointy, but not so sharp that it goes through it. Um, it did poke through really loose weave, like upholstery cotton. Um, but I mean, anything goes through that, it's ridiculous. I once put a pencil through it, like a pencil end through it. That's how much it's stretched out. But but that I, I found really useful. And then this side, well, all of it really, you can run along the seams, like to keep them nice and straight and to poke them out. And you know what, that part of it, this bit, you know, I've used knitting needles and I've actually used scissors before to poke it out. Um, but obviously this is slightly t a tiny bit rounded so that it's not so like piercing. Um, but the shaper, this end, even to like rub along the curved seams of things, I found that really, really useful. So if I'll put a little um, link in the description to the Gutterman Facebook page and they have like a stockist email and then you can contact them and find your nearest stockist. You could also just type in this Gutterman Edge Shaper gift pack into Google, I guess, and you'll find your nearest stockist. But I just thought I'd let you know because if you know any sewing people, things like this are like really good presents to get. And when they come with like a little bonus gift in it, it not only looks nice, but it's really handy. And as I've used this now a few times and my kids, my students have used it, very, very useful. So make sure you check that out. Right, so it's now, what time is it? Half past five on Thursday. Um, I've just had my teens club and I have this lovely boy coming in doing sewing for me, with me, not for me. Um, and I'm so excited because he's so good at sewing. Like amazing at sewing. In his first project, he's gonna make some stockings for his cousins that are visiting for Christmas. So, it's just so good. Oh. Are you coming up to say hello? Come here then. What are you doing? Come here. Come here, say hello. Oh. Go on then. Say hi to everyone. You're being a monkey. You're being a monkey. Why are you snuffling? Anyway, we're going to go home now, aren't we, Liz? All right, you want to get down? Oh. Get down there. We're going to go home now and have some tea. See you tomorrow. Hello everybody, so it's Friday morning. Um, it's normally Stitch and Bitch this morning, um, but no one's come in, so it's really quiet, which is sort of beneficial because I've got quite a lot of stuff to do. So I'm gonna crack on with that. I've already sorted out all my emails. Oh, I don't know why I'm so out of breath. Sorted out my emails. I need to do a bit of tidying up here because of the classes we had yesterday. Um, and then I've got some Christmas decorations to make for the display downstairs. And then, oh, I just printed some photos to put on the board, so I'll do that. Um, but yeah, I've just got a few things to finish. And then I've got more lessons and after school club again this afternoon. So it's gonna be fun. So 
basically I'm making those um, sewn together felt garlands to hang on one of the frames downstairs for a display. Um, I have actually got a video on the channel in my sort of DIY playlist of a star garland and it's basically exactly the same thing. So if you watch that video, you'll sort of have a step-by-step -step, um, instructions on how to make them. They are so easy and they look so pretty when they're up. So I've only got a hundred more pieces to do and then I'll be done. <laughs> So this is the finished look. I ran out of pieces, so there is actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hooks up there. And I only have four, I only had enough pieces cut out for four Christmassy ones. So I put them in between the normal geometric ones and I think I actually quite like the effect of it. Um, so I'm just gonna leave them and when mum comes in later I'm gonna see what she thinks but basically I've just done a series of holly and stockings and stars and trees mum helped me cut all the shapes out and mum spent ages gluing all the tops of the stockings onto the stockings because they looked a bit strange just red um, but yeah I quite like the mix of the colours and the Christmas so yeah I'm happy with that also, lovely Kay, who's my boyfriend's mum who works for me, made all these beautiful um, bottles and I've got some on the table, ignore the ladder, and we've got them up on the shelf up there as well, going up the stairs. And basically, they're these really pretty, um, I think they're like Prosecco bottles or wine bottles, I can't remember. Um, and she put battery operated fairy lights inside them and then she covered up the bottom with tinsel, the batteries and everything are underneath. Um, and they just look really pretty. They're so like cozy and warm. Um, and yeah, I really like the effect of them. So I'm happy with that. Okay, so I've just got um, a few minutes before I'm gonna have my lunch. And I have a commission to do um, for a bespoke pitch up with a couple of cool flamingos. Um, they're not like gonna be super detailed, it's gonna be more like bold and fun rather than like really really detailed um but i was going to talk to you about this um this is bondaweb it's the visaline one um i can never say it right i think it i say visaline but i think it's velizaline because it's got an extra l anyway if you go to any of my free motion classes you will know how much I rave about Bondaweb. Now, there's loads of different brands out there that do a double-sided glue, paper-backed, iron-on transfer. But Bondaweb, in my opinion, is the one I always use. I have it in the shop, I have a whole roll downstairs, and I sell that, and I've always bought whole rolls of Bondaweb um, to use in the shop and in my work. Um, mainly because I find that the glue part of it is, I have peeled like a corner bit off just to show you, the glue part of it is not super thick, it's like um, a really wafer thin, if it will focus, it's like a really wafer thin bit of glue um, and it's not lumpy, it's like super smooth and fine. Um, and that is what you want because you want it to be really easily transferable all the way to the edge a lot of them that i've used have been in like before have been in like cross hatchings and then you get like a mesh of glue and they're quite lumpy and quite rigid and i just really don't like them i'd also if you are making loads of things and you're doing a lot of applique um i would recommend getting rolls of Bondaweb rather than the packets. I know a lot of people sell the little packets. One, it's better value to get a whole roll. Um, two, you can buy it off the roll, like downstairs I buy, I sell it by the roll, so as in by the meter, um, or in whatever centimeter increments you want it. Um, but we always roll it for people because if you fold it, it creates the air pockets um, between the layers and that's how you sort of prise the paper away from the glue. It's exactly how I peeled off this corner. 
Um, so if you fold it, it's going to come away from the paper and then it's really unhelpful. Um, so definitely try and buy it by the meter or buy whole rolls. And if you're local, you can come buy it for me. So that would be nice. Um, but yeah, I use this a lot and I'm even teaching my children in the after school clubs to use Bonderwear because they can trace all their designs on them, their motifs, their hearts, their stars, whatever. And then they can cut them out, use this, iron it on, or I iron it on, they cut them out and then I can iron it on for them permanently in place. And then I don't have to leave them with tons of pins to applique around them. A lot of the girls get really like, they don't like having loads of pins in the way because they're scared they're going to catch their fingers on them and things like that. And it is easy to do. I've caught my fingers on pins all the time when I'm, you know, slowly turning around things. Um, so this just means that it's like a pinless way of fixing all your designs in place before you sew. Um, so I definitely recommend the Visaline, Velizaline, whatever you want to call it, Bonderweb from this brand. It's the best. I just wanted to show you my um, thread stands, um, well my spool stands. So basically I got these wooden spool stands from Amazon. Um, they're really, really good. Basically mum bought me one for Christmas a few years ago and I love it. Um, so I've got two, I've got one there and one there. They're not very full, well this one is, but the other one isn't. Um, but this is how I display the threads in the workshop upstairs. So this side is basically loads of standard colors. Um, oh, well, I call them my Jessily colours because when I was making loads of products, these are all the thread colours that match the fabrics that I use. Um, so I tend to stick to a lot of these colours because they're just really good staple shades of things. Um, this one I just put next to this yellow because um, it matched, but this one was from that Gutterman um, gift set with the Edge Shaper. Um, and these are some spare moon threads. Um, these are sort of lower quality um, threads from coats um, and I use these on the overlockers when I haven't got cones in the right colour. Um, and then on this spool stand, it's like the extras, I've got all the ready sort of reeled bobbins on the bottom so the kids can just come help themselves. These are the rest of the colours from that Gutterman box apart from the white and the black. Um, and I've just got a random, I've, basically I only really use Gutterman threads because they're just such good quality. I don't know why, I've, I've never actually, I've used tons of threads and I've never ever not bought Gutterman threads for my work and using in lessons. I just find that they're just such a good quality and they don't snap or break or, and you can get different types for different fabrics and different projects you're using. And I mean... I might be biased because I, you know, I really, really do just like them. I like the color ranges, but I don't know. If you are always finding that your threads are breaking, please just go to a shop and get a hundred meter spool like this size of Gutterman thread and just have a go at using it in your machine and just see if it makes a difference. These are the sew all ones, they're polyester and I use them all the time. Um, here are just some extra ones. They're really, really old. Some people always like, um, like relatives and stuff give me spools of thread that they find um, but they are quite useful especially when you don't have a colour um, these are ones that are really nearly empty um, and on the top I've got sort of like my fancier threads so I've got some Gutterman Sulky threads um, which are basically like silky but they are rigid enough to go through the machine um, so I've got a few greens and things this one I think is a silk thread so I'm just trying. I'm trying to show you on the camera and um, read it at the same time. Let me have a look. Uh, okay, so it's a 100% viscose thread. This one, so it's like super shiny and glossy. Um, I think I got this when I was working with some Chinese silk and I was doing some free motion embroidery on it. Um, but I've got a couple of those. Can you tell I was doing like green? And then I have metallic threads and I have another white um, sulky thread over here. Um, metallic threads are like my arch nemesis I hate using them um, but sometimes I have projects or commissions where I need to use them um, but they always break I really don't like metallic threads but anyway I have found that these ones actually the Mad what are they call Madeira or Madeira why is it anyway um, yeah I find that they're 
the best better metallic threads um but for everything else gutterman but yeah i just thought i'd show you that and whilst we're on the subject of gutterman um gutterman do fabrics a lot of you might not know that and i was sent this really lovely fat quarter um pack of their new marrakesh designs um and they are so beautiful so what i'm going to do with those i'm not going to have time this week um because it's already friday um but i have this space up here above the cutting tables so basically above the these inspiration boards here that I've got three cutting tables I have little tabletop ironing boards that go on all of them um, I thought I could make some scalloped bunting out of the Marrakesh Gutterman fabrics and hang them along there just to add some more color like further up on the wall um, and they're really beautiful actually they're like bright and colorful but not overwhelming because they're these beautiful, quite detailed patterns. Um, but I just really like the color combination of this one. They also have two other colorways in these designs. Um, but I'm glad they sent me this one because this one's my favorite. But yeah, so that's my plan with those. Um, again, I'll, I'll probably put in the description below um, where you can sort of find out where your nearest stock is for stuff like this is. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd show you that because they're so pretty. So I am just waiting for someone to come in um, for a little mini demonstration on a machine that they bought from us. They bought the Janome 230DC because I can see it down there. Um, so I'm just waiting for, for him to arrive. So I'm going to clear a machine off the table and plug it in ready. Well actually I won't plug it in. I'll just clear a table. I'll clear some space ready for him to come. So I'm just going to do some knitting while I wait. I just thought I'd show you what mum's been doing while I've been upstairs doing a machine demonstration. She's put this lovely bit of this like really thick green tinsel and then she's been crocheting these little trees and stars on it and she's going to cover the whole thing. Aren't you mum? After school club is finished and now it's time for mum and I to pack up and go home and I'm in again tomorrow because I've got a whole day lesson with a lovely customer who's coming all the way from London um, just to see me so that's nice um, but yeah I'm excited for that so I'm in again tomorrow morning so I'll do a bit of filming and then when I get home tomorrow I'm hopefully gonna edit this and then get it up by the end of Sunday fingers girl. Hello everybody and happy Saturday. So mum and I normally do alternate um, Saturdays and Mondays um, so that we get a little bit of time off. Um, but today um, I've got a, a lovely customer coming from London for, for a one-to-one -one day's tuition. Um, and I'm really excited about it. And so I'm coming in for an extra Saturday. Um, but it actually works out quite nicely because it means mum and I are both here. So I can just like work upstairs with her like one-to-one -one the whole day and mum can sort of um, chat to customers coming in and out so it's actually much better. So mum's already been here for an hour or so um, just cleaning and making the shop look lovely um, and I'm just gonna prep the one of the tables upstairs because my lady's got a new brand new machine that she's bought from me um, so we're gonna do like a lesson on her machine first before we do some free motion embroidery so it's my favorite thing to do, so I'm very, very excited about that. Um, so today, I haven't been talking about my outfits, so I keep forgetting, but today I'm wearing a jumper that my mum knitted me and my Tilling the Buttons Clio pinafore. Um, this is my navy needle cord one. I have quite a few, um, but I need, I need more. I do need more. I need a denim one. I haven't actually got a denim one. I've got a colored ones and needle cord ones, um, but I don't have a plain blue denim one, so I need to make that one. I also need to finish my denim jacket that's still over there. Still haven't finished it. 
don't know what's wrong with me. I just can't. I just, I'm just not in the right mind space for it yet. Anyway, I'm going to prep the room and then we're going to have a very busy day. And then later tonight, I get to go to my best friend's house with my sister and we're going to make gingerbread before we go and see the Christmas lights in my local town. So I'm very excited for that. So it's going to be a really good day. I'm so excited. Can you tell? Okay, so I've had a whole day sewing with my lovely friend Sue and it's home time now. I mean, it's four o'clock and it's already dark. So mum and I are gonna pack up the shop, head home and then I'm going to my best friend's house with my sister to do Christmas things. So I'm really excited about that, but um, I am quite tired now. It's been quite a long week, but it's been a fun week. So I will try and edit this video and have it up by tomorrow night if I can. But thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Um, comment below if you uh, want me to look at a pattern that you like or you found some cool fabric that you think I might like, then please comment below because I love reading all your comments. And hopefully I will start making a habit of these weekly sort of in the sewing school vlogs. So please let me know what you think, if you think I should continue them or if there's certain parts of being here that you want me to film um then please comment below and i will see you next week hopefully for another video happy handmade everyone